How does it work with, uh, so someone signs up or someone, is it a subscription model? Is it a transaction model? How, walk us through uh, the customer experience from that standpoint. It's actually a combination of both. It's, it's a transaction model um, for those who, have a, who don't have a consistent need. For those who actually want to have, um, have that subscription, they can, they can like a, a small business, for example, we start them out with uh, 50 verifications for $50. So it's actually like a dollar per verification. That's why the value, as I referenced earlier, kind of fluctuates a little bit. But at $50 an hour, $50 uh, a dollar per transaction, you get 50 transactions. Now, once you use up those, you automatically will renew for another 50. So that's the subscription end versus the individual end where the person that is only using it randomly or, you know, uh, sporadically uh, would need to, to um, just log in when they're ready to use it. And when they're not, they don't. And how does that work for the individual? Well, for the individual, um, once you've activated your account, uh, the, the individual fee is $2.49. Um, and that will allow you with the phone number or email of, of anyone that you want to verify that will allow you the opportunity to run them through easy verify system and get your results as to what their standing is. I mean, I'm just thinking me as like I had mentioned my mother-in-law, I would pay $30 a year to, uh, for her to subscribe to your service and say, Hey, before you call another 1-800 number and give someone your credit card number, mm. use your service. And then, yeah, I mean, just based You're on how, I, idea. Based yeah, on how I value my time, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it just, that would. Well, I mean, think about how many people have spent sent $1,500 to the prince in some country that they've never heard of. Right. <laughs> you know, I can think of, you know, my. That's not true. Uh, That's not real. Well, I mean, that was the big thing that you start. Oh, the prince of wherever, you know. Oh, I'm I just waiting for my money to come back. I mean, it's. I, I think about how many of those, uh, you know, you know, Dennis's friend that did it last week. Your your mother in law, my grandma in law, is that what you call grandma in law? A grandma in law who clicks and her computer's broken every other day because she clicks something, calls someone, whatever. Right. I mean, right. That, I would assume that that aspect of like being scammed is like a hundred billion dollar a year market. I, that that's to me. If I was Dennis, that would be my first target. That would be my first segment. Yeah, the parents and, or the concerned relative or friend right. of a thing buying it and, for this other. And aspect. what I would do, I would you know just like how Superhuman works. It's an email platform that I use. You sign up, and the first thing that they do is they set up a Zoom call. And they do a 30-minute concierge service with you and walk you how walk you through how to use the program and make sure that they answer every single question. And in terms of a, a customer experience standpoint, it's unlike anything that I have ever done. And then that way you are on the call with the the son or daughter, with the mother, mother-in-law, whoever, and you go through the process. This is how you do it. So next time a pop-up window comes up. You take that number, you put it in easy verify, and if it's not who it says it is, then you don't have to worry about it kind of thing. And then there's just that peace of mind. And then as the person paying for the service, man, $30 a year, I mean, I wouldn't even think twice about paying for something like that. That is a that is a, another market. That's another market. I mean, we've had people say, look, we know that some of the uh, Uber and uh, delivery places, for example, um, they will send uh, or the taxi cab services. They'll send an, a supposedly verified driver to pick you up, but that verified driver has no idea who you are. You know, um, it would be great if there was some connection between those two databases that would say, "Hey, not only are you the driver, but I am the passenger." You know, so so there's there's a, there's again a two way communications that would exist here too. Um, it, it, to me, I, like I said, I don't want to uh, sound like it's the panacea or whatever, but the idea is that there's so many benefits that it has to offer. Um, and, and, and I agree with you guys. I mean, I, I wish, well, it's making itself visible to me every day. I just yeah. haven't finally gotten to that point. And I'm going to tell you this, the, 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 the first phone call that I received or the first purchase that was made, I'm riding down the street and all of a sudden I heard my my uh, phone go off, ching, and I was like, 
what was that? You know, and it was someone purchasing a membership with Easy Verify, and I was like, wow! So it really does work. <laughs> you know, you set your ringtone to be money. Well, it, it's just it was it would ha what happened. I guess is my credit card supplier. You know, once they get once money comes in, it, it's like a little reaction that they you, somebody just purchased your services. That's that's a you know that's a crazy feeling when somebody thinks enough about you to say here here's a couple dollars for what you're offering me. You it's know, like uh, hearing your song on the radio for the first time. I would, I would imagine. Oh wow! I, remember, and I can't there was think. Nothing like it. The the yeah. first time I saw someone wear like a Start Norfolk shirt. Uh -huh. On the street, I was like, "Oh, that's interesting. I have no idea who you are." Thanks for right. sharing my sweat. There, there's a guy. Uh, there's a guy that I see riding his bike around my neighborhood with a uh, a Stark Peninsula shirt on. It was wow. kind of the same thing. I'm like, I have no idea who this person is, but that's pretty cool. The worst Maybe feeling in the same the, the worst feeling in the same realm is when you see that shirt at the thrift store. Right, like, out, for a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I was to change my ringtone to something like that, or, or the uh, transaction uh, ringtone, it would be the million dollar man's <laughs> when he like the wrestling guy. Nah, goes, nah, oh, nah. That's, that's, so that's not it. That's not it, Zach. Come on now. You want it to be? Oh wow, they love me. Yeah, they do. But like, you think of like the million dollar man. He comes out like the rest. I mean, come on. That, Someone that who's been directly involved within the startup community for almost a decade. I want to talk to you about a serious pain point: spending a ton of time trying to understand the business landscape in the seven five seven. That's time that should be focused on growing the business. At Start Wheel, we're here to help you by compiling all of the news you need to know about in one place. Now there's no need to search multiple websites. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org.